Well, good morning, and thank you for the opportunity to be part of the IMARC 2022. And while the organisers have unfortunately had to postpone this event, I appreciate the opportunity to address you virtually. And I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. You, the mining and METS leaders who have driven the resources sector's amazing performance throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. The performance of the sector has been nothing short of remarkable. During the last financial year, Australia's resources and energy exports hit a new record of $310 billion, and it's forecast to deliver $379 billion this financial year. Iron ore exports reached a record $153 billion, a 48% increase on the previous 12 months. Coal has rallied, with export earnings for metallurgical and thermal coal forecast to top $85 billion this year from $40 billion last year. Gold exports reach a record $26 billion as Australia continues to battle for the title as the world's largest gold producer. And resources jobs have grown by almost 15,000 since the start of the pandemic, a fantastic outcome for regional Australia in particular. In the most testing of times, Australia's resources and energy sector is the lifeline for our economy, for our economic resilience and recovery. But we couldn't have achieved this without your leadership and the sacrifices of your workforce. Australia owes you a debt of gratitude. It shouldn't take crises like COVID to appreciate the benefit of the resources sector. The track record tells a consistent story that the sector is Australia's best friend in good times and in bad. Looking at the past decade, we see a sector that continues to expand to support Australia's economic prosperity. More than $627 billion has been invested in the sector, delivering high paying jobs and considerable support to the economy. Exports have grown by 41% and now make up to two thirds of Australia's total exports. The share of GDP has increased from 7.4 to 10%. Direct employment has gone up over 12% to more than 271,000 jobs. We've seen over 45 billion in private mining exploration expenditure, including a strong growth in exploration expenditure for gold mining. The last decade has seen the sector deliver for Australia. That's 10 years of more company tax and royalties which some estimates put at over $238 billion to fund roads, schools, hospitals, COVID testing centres and income support. You can count on the government's support for growth in the sector because a strong mining sector means a strong Australian economy. The world needs our coal, iron ore, gold and critical minerals, just as it needs the expertise of our MET sector to maintain productivity and safety in mines around the world. The government will keep backing the sector right across the value chain from exploration to export, ensuring our resources sector remains strong and delivers for the Australian economy. To help create a pipeline of exploration and investment, we've extended the Junior Minerals Exploration Incentive by 100 million and the Exploring for the Future program by 125 million. Both programs have been a great success. For example, the Junior Minerals Exploration Incentive, the GEMI, has helped discover a new high-grade copper and gold deposit in Victoria and a large lithium deposit in WA. The Exploring for the Future program continues to kick goals with more than 30 companies securing over 165,000 square kilometres of new tenements across Northern Australia for further exploration. We're keen to see and support increased growth opportunities that would expand the range of commodities and services that our miners and METS companies offer to both established and emerging markets. Our METS sector has been a pillar of mining success here and abroad. As Australian historian Geoffrey Blaney rightly points out, there is hardly a mining field that has not used Australian innovations in metallurgy. The MET sector exports products, technologies and services worth about $15 billion every year to more than 200 countries. And the government is a strong supporter of Australia's MET sector. In the 21-22 budget, the Australian government committed 20.1 million over two years to invest in Australia's global resources strategy. Under the strategy, the government will sponsor key events and support Australia's MET sector to export and access new markets. The outlook for Australia's mineral exports remains strong as the world economy rebounds. Iron ore exports are expected to grow steadily in the year ahead with the opening of several new mines in Western Australia. Strong prices for gold are attracting new investment, including the reopening of gold mines long closed. Coal demand and prices continue to surge. 
the mining sector's strong performance is expected to lift export earnings to an unprecedented $379 billion this financial year. Mining remains a defining feature of Australia's national identity. It's what drives and protects our economic prosperity. Australia will continue to look to the sector more than ever, and the sector can continue to count on the government strongly backing it. Thank you so much.